Peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will speak about what the word Aslama mean. You know, uh, Aslama, which means a Muslim. Uh, you know, if you ask a Muslim, mostly those who live in the West, especially, what the word Islam mean, he will say to you, Islam mean peace, which is absolutely a false thing. And we explained many times before that Islam and peace have nothing to do with each other. Uh, the word uh, Islam is not the same as Salam. They are totally different. And we can just demonstrate a little bit, you know, about the language for you before we uh, continue reading this verse, which is going to prove our point. Now, we put this in Word, word document so we can show you the difference. This is the word Aslam. Aslam. The same word as Islam. Now, Aslam is a verb in the past tense, which means he became one of those who do surrender put down their weapon this is what the word aslam means uh, salam is the opposite salam simply is somebody he is uh, it's, it's 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 not a person about a person anyway it's about a state of uh, of things around you which is peace aslam is you doing an action and that action is you put down your weapon which means you lost and the enemy he won it is totally the opposite you became captured you became a, a captive you became a slave you know this is why the Muslims, you know, they consider themselves the slaves of Allah. Why? Because they surrender themselves to Allah. Uh, the funny, uh, Islam as a religion forbid even Muslims from uh, greeting you with peace. You know, the Prophet of Islam, he said, uh, you can go to chapter, 20, uh, chapter 9 verse 28. Actually, I can show it to you. He forbid them from using the word peace when they greet others unless they are Muslims. This is why you might see Muslims if they enter a chat room or a place. They say to the American, the non-Muslim, they say to him, uh, hello, because he's allowed to say that. Hello means nothing. It doesn't mean I'm not going to kill you. But he cannot say to you, peace. Now, if we go to Ibn Kathir and read chapter 28, verse uh, chapter 9, verse number 28, uh, you will see how, how, how much Islam is uh, uh, preaching hate against the Christians and the Jews specifically. You know, the Muslims, first they say, try to say to you that the jizya is just, just a tax. Uh, but have you ever heard about somebody who is paying tax with humiliation? As the verse is saying, you know, وَهُمْ صَغِرُونَ صَغِرُونَ means subdued and little and humiliated. Uh, how come the Muslims don't do that? The Muslims, they don't pay jizya and they are not going to be humiliated and they will not be subdued or little. Uh, so the Muslims try to um, always manipulate things and try to make it look better. And the Quran at the same time is a book of racism because call everyone is that a Muslim is dirty. That's why in the same chapter we see that the Quran saying that non-Muslims are dirty and they are not allowed, they are, you know, and here they are using impure. But the fact, uh, if you read with me in here clearly, it says to expel the idolaters who are filthy in the religious sense. So you are filthy, you know, in the religious sense. By the way, this is in, in our English translation trying to make it look nicer. Uh, in Ibn Kathir it's very clear, you are filthy for not being a Muslim. This is why they expel you from cities. Imagine we have a sign that says Muslims uh, cannot enter New York because they are filthy. Uh, I think the Muslims will, will, will go crazy, right? So Muslims, they are double standard people. They are people of racism. They hate you just for you are not a Muslim. Then, uh, and here you will see that a believer, he will never be impure. The believer does not become impure, which is a proven Muhammad to be false again. Because if a Muslim is became, never became any pure, then why he not need to do evolution? See the stupidity of the Quran? It's amazing. It's an amazing, stupid book. If he is an impure anyway, why a Muslim, he cannot even touch the Quran if he just have sex? You know? Uh, why a Muslim, uh, why if a mu woman touch him, uh, you know, he have to do evolution again? And, uh, uh, you know, Islam is just a joke. Now, we continue to show you what, what the Muhammad, he said about peace. You can read this, those ugly pages because you can see how filthy it is, this book. Uh, so, and uh, when the Muslim says to you that uh, we Muslims have been ordered to fight because we are fighting those who fight us, you know the word is very clear and they, they fool only the one who decides to fool himself. Read with me, this is not my own uh, words. To order to fight the people of the scriptures until they give the jizya, not until they stop fighting them, not enter they stop hurting the Muslims because specifically the Christians never hurt Muhammad never actually they gave him shelter they protected him this is what happened when, when, when the, the Muslims went to Ethiopia so fight them until they pay the jizya with humiliation and look what Muhammad said like in here in the, if you read this verse fight against those who believe not in Allah so why they, who fight who not everybody except those 
But those who believe not in Allah, the Muslim, they say to you, oh, we fight those who fight us. It's a lie. If we continue, uh, you know, and it says like, you know, those who don't believe in Allah and don't forbid what is forbidden by Allah and what is forbidden by the messenger, which means they are not a Muslim. <coughs> and those who do not believe in the book of truth or the religion of truth from those who called the, themselves the people of the book or Allah, he called them people of the book, which means Christians and Jews. So religion of truth in Islam is Islam. You don't believe in it. Muslims have the right to fight you. Uh, the propaganda of uh, we fight only who fight us, etc., is an absolutely f f f filthy lie. Uh, remember, Muhammad, he sent the three letters to three kings saying, either you convert or I'm coming to you. They did not send letter to him saying, either you convert or we will come to you. No, it is the opposite. Uh, but now we will show you, <coughs> because our, our uh, uh, topic today is about peace. Look what Muhammad said. Don't initiate the salam to the Jews and the Christians, and if you meet any of them in the road, force them to the most narrow alley. In old days, the narrow alley is simply an open sewage line in the street where, where dirty water runs. So if a Christian or a Jew walking by and a Muslim walking by, he will force the Christian and the Jew to go in the sewage line, and he is not allowed to say, Salam. You see it? Muslim, they say to you, Islam means peace, right? How come you are not even allowed to say peace? By the way, a Muslim, they might say to you, oh, this is not, you didn't say salam to the enemy. What enemy, you idiot? People walking with you in the street. What enemy? You know, it doesn't say that, you know, that don't say salam to the Jews and the Christian, regardless who they are. Anyone, just because he's a Jew or a Christian, don't say salam to him. Is that religion of peace? Because, you know, if, you, if, if Islam is about it's, it's spreading peace, at least, you know, say peace for those who they are peaceful with you. No, they cannot. Because not only they cannot say peace to you, they have to harm you and push you in the sewage. This is how filthy disgusting this religion for those who do not know. Now we will go back to the verse as long and this is by the way you can go chapter eight uh, chapter uh, nine, verse number twenty eight, Ibn Kathir interpretation. And this is hadith by Muhammad. It's very accurate. Very accurate very strong hadith. <clears throat> because you know these days Muslims they say Many of the hadith they need vitamin D and A and C and B and O and F. All kind of vitamin is missing. Missing. So uh, those lies they don't work. You know, uh, it. You know, when they say it's weak, it means they are ashamed of it. That's all. It's just to cover their shame. Uh, actually, to do just, they are not ashamed. I mean, ashamed of it. But they knew it's wrong. They knew inside them, even if they are evil people, by teaching. But still they have, they knew that this is not wrong. How we can fool you? At the same time, we say to you, Islam is peace. At the same time, we, 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 our prophet say such a thing. It doesn't make sense. So they have to say it's weak, it's not true, it's etc. You know, all those lies. Now, if we go to chapter 49, verse number 14, and we choose any translation you want, whatever you want. You know, choose one. We can show you all of them, actually. No problem. The Bedouin said, you know, the Bedouin actually doesn't say the Bedouin. It says Al-Arab. Al-Arab is different, kind of different of Bedouin. But anyway, uh, it's the Arab, the real Arab. The Arab, they said, we believe. So uh, 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 he's saying to them, say, you believe not, but only say we have surrender. You see it? So don't say we believe. Uh, don't lie to me. I know it. I know exactly. None of you believe. We surrender. Surrender to what? Surrender in Islam. They put it between two brackets, which means surrender to Islam. You know, Islam itself means surrender. Surrender to Muhammad. But now the question: Why they surrender? Why those people became Muslims if they are not people who believe? It doesn't make sense. Correct. You know, uh, uh, you know the, the funny the, uh, Muhammad and the, and the Quran call the Muslims believers. <laughs> In the same time, he says they did not believe, but they surrender. Don't say he is not even he is even saying don't don't say it, don't even try to attempt to say it. You are a person who did surrender. You did not believe. Don't use the word believe. I can show you <coughs> how many verses in the Quran Allah speaking about the believers. In the same time, He says they are not the believers. They are.
people who surrender, which mean or explaining that those people they've been forced into Islam and showing you that Islam is not really a religion of peace. You know, you can go right now and search in Prophet Google, peace upon him, you know, or Prophet Yahoo, uh, about the war of apostate. <clears throat> you know, the war of apostate, all the Muslims, they teach it in their Islamic history books. It's part of their history, and no, no Muslim can deny it. Now, what happened in the war of apostate? What exactly happened? It's exactly what we see in this verse. Those people who faith did not enter their heart. Who is saying that supposedly Allah? We know there is no Allah. It's the one who is talking, talking there is Muhammad. Huh? But if you obey Allah and his messenger, he will not decrease any, uh, anything in, in reward for your deeds. See, you know, uh, 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 Allah did not want them to believe. This is showing you that this is a satanic uh, God. It's not important for you to believe. The important is just to obey Muhammad. If you obey Muhammad, Allah will give you reward the same as somebody he believed. Well, how is that can be? This is hypocrisy. Imagine, in my heart, I consider you a false prophet, but I obey you, huh? so I don't get killed. Same time, the God of Islam saying, supposedly according to this verse, that because you obey Muhammad, I will give you reward the same as if somebody, he is a believer. So Islam is not really about believing in Muhammad. Islam is about surrounding yourself as a fool. You say something in your lips and you have something else in your heart. Because as you see, and somebody who is saying that, faith did not enter your heart. Who is saying that? The God of Islam. So Muslims cannot say, Oh, this is your interpretation. For faith has not entered your heart. So all what Muhammad is saying to them, all what I need from you is obedience. He don't care really if they became believers or not. You know, you will see that uh, in, in our Bible as a Christians, Jesus said, not everyone say to me, Lord, Lord, I will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do his will. Which means he don't want people to say, he, don't want, he want people to believe because the, the, the act is the fruit of the believers. Saying and doing the act, but not obeying. <clears throat> you know, there's difference between obeying and you are not convinced of it. Like, yes, I obey God by doing, by doing good, but at the same time, I'm convinced with it. I believe in God. I say to him, Lord, Lord, not because I'm obeying, because I don't have to obey him anyway. And here, you entered Islam without faith Allah will grant you reward regardless if you are a believer or not because anyway you did not believe but because you obey Muhammad and this is what all Muhammad he want so when Muhammad he, he, he died or he was killed by the poison uh, uh, many, uh, you know most of the Arab actually they left Islam except the tribe of Quraysh and a little, uh, few little uh, tribes but because those are terrorists and the Arab, the, the other Arab, they are not prepared really to fight fight them, so they took advantage of them again. And Abu Bakr he launched a war against them. It's called the War of Apostate. You can search for it right now in the internet, and you will find how Abu Bakr he made people convert to Islam again. If Abu Bakr did not make that war, Arabian Peninsula will not be Muslims, and all the Muslims will not be Muslims. It was the war which made by Abu Bakr. So. Islam is based on war, even even when they get them back. And you can search, right? You know, like just search for a war of apostasy, and you will see uh, tons of uh, websites speaking about that. So Islam, as a summary for this, Islam as a war does not mean peace, and Islam as a war does not mean even believing. Islam as a war means you put down your weapon and you became a puppy of Muhammad. You obey this. A gang man, this mafia man, so he will not kill you. You obey him, he don't care. If you believe, you don't believe, who care? Just obey him and you are fine. Christ is Lord, Islam made by a filthy man for the filthy one. See you soon.